Hi everyone, I am Akshay and welcome to my channel Gacha Gaming. So the live stream of version 5.0 just ended and it gave us a whole lot of new information regarding the gameplay mechanisms and the Genshin as we know till now is going to change a lot from the version 5.0. So stay tuned to the end of this video as I will be going through all of the major changes from the reward system to the quality of life changes that will be happening in Natland so you can get through all of them. So starting with the reward system, we will start with the completing Arkhan quest. The Arkhan quest in the 5.0 of Natland will include two acts, act 1 and act 2 and upon completing those two acts within a specified time, we will be able to get 500 primos extra alongside the intertwined fates that we get from completing those as well. So if we complete the test runs of the new character within a specified time as well, we will also get an additional of 120 primo gems extra on completing those test runs before that basic tri trial time runs out. And the test runs of uh, the new characters will not be some sort of like a combat test, it will be sort of an open world area where we can also test their open mechanisms or their exploration mechanisms. So next is for the new characters who have just started playing Genshin Impact, they don't need to complete all of the Arkhan quest in order to unlock the Natlan's Arkhan quest. They can easily unlock Natlan after reaching AR28 and have completed Leo's Arkhan quest. So after that they can easily unlock the Natlan's Arkhan quest from their notebook. Nextly is from the anniversary. On the anniversary of 4th year of Genshin Impact, we will be given 10 intertwined fates and alongside that we will get a total of 1600 primo gems and a sanctifying elixir. What the sanctifying elixir is, it will be some sort of a new device that will let us obtain certain artifacts, custom artifacts whose main stat and substats we can select. So let's say you want a attack sends of an artifact so you can select attack sends of an artifact and alongside that you can also select the substats that is crit rate crit damage attack ER whatever you want you can select up to two substats of that artifact as well and one sanctifying elixir will be given free in the anniversary rewards but you can also obtain it some during the exploration of netline as well nextly a new world level 9 will be added and uh, Players on reaching AR58 will have to go through an ascension quest if they want to ascend their world level from 8 to 9 and upon completing that ascension quest, they will be provided with 100 primo gems and 2 equipment fates. Initially upon destroying artifacts, we get Mora but now on destroying artifacts, we could get sanctifying unions or artifact ascension materials. Nextly in the wishing system, we will get a capturing radiance. Capturing Radiance will only occur when you are losing your 50-50. So let's say you are on your 50-50 and you do a pull for getting your character. And uh, let's say in the system you lost your 50-50. But even if you lost your 50-50, there will be a high chance to triggering a Capturing Radius which will mean that there might be a 55% chance that that lost 50-50 might be converted to the guaranteed promotional 5 star character you have pulled. Nextly, the fate points from weapon banners have been reduced from a numerical 2 to a numerical 1. <laughs> it sounds so weird saying that, but yeah, the fate points have been reduced from 2 to a number 1. Nextly, on the 4th year anniversary of Genshin Impact, we would be given or we could select any 5 star character from the permanent weapon banner or the Wanderlust invocation banner. So we are being given a free 5 star character from Genshin that has never happened before till now. So it seems like an inspiration or competition can make us do wonders. So yeah that's all the basic information that we got from the 5.0 Netland trailer. I will be making another detailed explanation of all those things and other new information that we got from the Netland trailer. If you guys are interested in it and if you guys like what you saw. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your Genshin friends. So until the next video and the next time, have a great time guys. Bye bye.